Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, today I want to make a video showing you guys how to uninstall Internet Explorer from Windows 8.1. Um, this same procedure you can use it on Windows 8 or Windows 7 as well. Uh, it may look a little bit different on Windows 7 but the same steps uh, can be followed more or less. Um, so just before we get started, uh, reasons why people would want to uninstall Internet Explorer uh, there are so many different reasons to be honest um, some people they just don't like Internet Explorer they like Firefox they like to use Chrome so they're way more familiar with that Internet Explorer they feel is less secure um, but I won't go into that at all that is just more of a preference thing so if if you actually don't want to uh, uninstall uh, sorry if you don't want to use Internet Explorer you can disable it to save space on your computer and save some resources. Uh, I personally don't recommend uninstalling it. I, I'll always keep it in the background but I just never use it. I'll use Chrome or Firefox and Internet Explorer in worst case scenarios if I really need to use it. Okay so um, that's just the background but if you want to actually uninstall it, you want to learn how to do it, this is how you do it. So to get started, um, you want to go down here to the start button right here. This is on Windows 8.1. If you don't have this, uh, that means, I mean, if you're using Windows 8 and you don't have this, you need to upgrade to Windows 8.1. Um, and that's something you can do using on the Windows Store. If you don't know how to do it, I have a video on that. You can check that out. So first off, you'll right click the start button here and then you'll go to control panel and once you're here you can click on programs and features uh, now if it doesn't look like this and it looks like if it looks like this for you you can just click uninstall a program uh, I manually changed it to show it to make it look like this because that's how Windows 7 was and it's just a little bit more advanced so click on programs and features and it'll come to the screen uh, Another way to do this, to come here, rather than follow all those steps, is you can just go to your start button here and then type in programs, if I can spell correctly, um, sorry, and features. So you can see right here it says programs and features. I click on that, it takes me to the same screen. So there are way, many ways to do it, but once you're here, you can just click turn windows features on or off we'll click on that and this may take this loading this might take a little while depending on your computer uh, how fast it is and then what you're looking for there's actually a ton of different features that windows 8.1 comes with but you can enable it or disable it depending on what you what you want we're looking for this one called internet explorer 11 all you need to do is uncheck this box it'll give you a message uh, saying turning off Internet Explorer 11 might affect other Windows features and programs installed on your computer including default settings do you want to continue so we will click yes basically what this means is assuming you don't have any other browser say I never had Firefox or Chrome installed that means I don't have any internet browser at all so please make sure before you do this that you have an alternate browser that you prefer using. <laughs> um, so yeah that's basically what it means and then you can click yes and you'll see the box got unchecked and we'll click OK and now it's just gonna go through the uninstall process. This takes a long, this might take a while as well depending on your computer. I'm using, I'm running a virtual machine so I don't really have much on this virtual machine. So we can click restart now. It'll it says it's done. So you do need to restart. If you have any programs open, make sure that you close it. And the computer restarted. It's actually not done restarting. It's still doing its. Uh, it's still installing the features, and then you can restart it after that. So we will let this restart. Uh, the, again, this also depends on how fast your computer is and how much stuff you have on your computer. Uh, basically, what it's going to do is it's going to run through all 
your entire computer and find wherever Internet Explorer is being used and kind of erase it from its memory. Um, so I'm just letting this restart. To avoid making this video really long, I will pause the video and I'll be back as soon as it comes up with anything else here. Okay, so you can see that it's actually uh, still going through its install process. Uh, don't worry if it doesn't look like this on your computer because this is a virtual machine. Basically your computer is just going to restart. It's going to say it's working on features, which is Internet Explorer. And now we're finally back here on our login screen. So let's log in. And I'm sorry, I forgot to show you guys that I did have Internet Explorer installed previously, so uh, you just have to kind of take my word for it. But you did see that the checkbox was checked off there. So here, uh, if we just type, you'll see that Internet Explorer box that I had right now, it just disappeared. Uh, that was, I guess it was, it was a remnant from before and I just cleared it off right now. Um, so after that, you can see if I type right now Internet Explorer you'll see that nothing comes up before I uninstalled it if I typed this up Internet Explorer would have showed up here but now nothing is showing up here uh, so it is in uninstalled it's no longer on my computer uh, so that's pretty much it those are the steps that you need to take to uninstall Windu uh, Internet Explorer from your computer. So thanks a lot guys for watching this uh, video. I hope this video helped you guys out. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and share this video. And uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos just let me know and uh, I'll be happy to try and make those videos. Thanks again guys and uh, take care.